Oh, hello YouTube. Uh, I want to show you some uh, uh, course compiling for Qt5 using Buildwood. Um, it take me it took me some time to find it. It's not a 100% exactly what I want, but it does work. The solution is to use completely Buildwood and compile from the command line. Something doesn't work well uh, in the make file of the application so I wrote a document and I'm going to write uh, several document about build root, Yocto and uh, everything about compiling because it's much more difficult than uh, uh, do software programming so you can find the document here uh, it's Qt course compile for Raspberry Pi 3 um, if we go to the end, we will finally see the the two steps that actually do the do the job. So, in this document, I'm not explaining exactly how to work with build root. You should know how to work with build root. I will create uh, another document and uh, probably a video about how to build build root, but it's very very uh, very simple after you read so much information in the internet you find that you need to download the build root and uh, um, do make a config the make raspberry pi 3 config and it will copy the um, raspberry pi, uh, pi 3 and config and then you need to just add a qt5 if you want to add Qt5, it will not be available until you enable the WHR and the NPTEL thread. So, um, if you don't find it, the, I find it using the uh, make menu config, not the make X config. Um, it's explaining much uh, better how to find it. And once you add the Qt5, you can just go and compile a build root. One thing that I did do, and I use external tool, tool chain and instead of the internal, it's much faster and um, it doesn't need to recompile every time. If I do make clean, I did change the download area. But again, this um, uh, small tutorial, it's not about the build root yet. Um, it's about the course compiling with Qt5. So, but we, I'm, go, I'm using completely build root from creating the, the tool chain and even uh, Qt5 because he's done, he's done it very perfectly. It's much easier than downloading the uh, Qt5 sources and compiling and like like I saw many places in the internet the downloading the image and mounting and everything so once the image is ready and you have um, you have the build root create your image with Qt5 and here you, you can uh, add many uh, packages to the Qt. I added everything, you can add whatever you want. Um, we wait two hours and we have we have an image. We need the image for the build root, from the build root, because Qt requires a sysroot directory for the kernel. So this is one of the reasons. We probably we use build root because it's download the toolchain, because it's compiling very nicely Qt5, and it's give us the uh, sysroot. For all those three, we need uh, a build root, and we don't need to do everything else. It's one package to do everything uh, for us. I just mentioned that in here I'm using the Raspbian operating system and not the produced image from build root yet I will try it later and um, now let's go to Qt we have the image and now we want to cross compile a um, Qt application so what we need to do is first of all 
uh, we need to download Qt Creator and this is done from the QTIO you need to go to the open source and download the Qt uh, Qt Creator mm, one more thing is that um, okay we, we create a Qt application a very very simple um, this is our uh, uh, project here I'm showing that I have already created a MyQt embedded uh, for where did it came from I created um, the steps here with the compiler, Qt version, kits you can find it in here in this, this document and also everywhere on the internet and by the way these steps doesn't help much because eventually I cannot compile from the Qt creator this document and tutorial showing you how to compile it from the command line what are the steps to build the GUI with the Qt creator but compiling from the command line and this document explaining very um, I, I think step by step how it can be done just note that the um, the build root is creating um, the sys root and the binary utils in output host user and, uh, and this is the sys root and user bin is all the tool chain um, so here I'm creating the GUI and now I want to start the compilation this is the uh, tricky part so I open a terminal and move to the place where the Qt creator creates the project so I created under Qt test hello PyTree GUI and here uh, I see the the files that the Qt creator creates the activated set is my file that I'm uh, creating um, in order to prepare the environment to prepare the environment what I'm doing I'm adding to the path the build root um, toolchain directory and then I do source to activate this uh, script and it's the, the it's only for the local uh, uh, local window it's not in the uh, home directory and then I create a compile script we, actually we can just run this line from the command line or just to create a compile this actually should run um, several times every time we add a new file we need to create a, we need to run QMake QMake is a Qt utility that creates complex and complex make file it's actually creating for us the make file that we need to run and so we need to use the QMake form uh, for build root this is the .pro file, program file of one file okay and this is very important this line minus spec and this is the mk spec of the directory that created I'm showing here because in the the uh, the the Py toolchain is creating is using the ARM GNU by HF the floating point architecture compiler and the MK specs from Qt doesn't provide um, a specification hardware for a compiler from the HF compiler so what we are doing and I'm showing in this document I'm copy the Linux ARM GNU by without the HF and duplicate the directory and once I'm doing this um, uh, this copy what we have is that I'm changing the QMakeCC to HF every place 
and therefore I have now a, a, a directory with um, our Linux GNUI by uh, HF which I can use because the the Qt is using the a EAHBIFF in the build root target architecture okay so I'm not following all the document here I'm just explaining the the main line you can read the document and now when we create uh, the uh, the make file the Qt the Qt QMake create a make file for us and after we create the make file for us we can do run run make okay so let's explain what's going on um, in this line we have the qmake and we have the pro file every time you add a new window or a new file to the project you need to create the make file again so you need to write to uh, run this compile script or this line again so it will create a new a new files because this one will be changed every time you add a new um, a new files um, okay so we, we can do make now this is the PRO file and now we can do make and this is also important once we do make we will get an many many errors because the compiler should be C++11 for Qt so what I did I just edit the make file that QMake create for me and add minus stdc11 at the end and then when I compile the project again as you see here I don't have any errors I can do file on the project to, uh, to determine to see the file type and information and I do see that is in uh, ARM EABI version and this file this file is ready to uh, copy to the Raspbian operating system and run it from here and I did I did copy this file and checked and it was working um, you can do a SCP copy and if you want to do uh, you can install the SSH pass that will help you to uh, in the command line to provide the, the password so this um, line will, co will copy as is okay this is a bug from the um, from the world you don't need the curly braces so here is the summary what the step I did um, you can read it I think it's uh, this describing exactly what we are doing and one more thing is that the Raspbian need um, prerequisites of many libraries. Um, you can find it also here, also in the internet. Uh, Linux requirement, and once you um, install of the, all of them, you can write the uh, executable on the Pi. Um, that's it. Um, next, I want to create some uh, top-level understanding of uh, build root, maybe Yocto and Bigglebone, and everything I, I learned. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you very much, and bye-bye. Uh,